Here we are looking at Trollmaster 3.2 for Outrig Trolling. This is actually based on a recording from the FV Liberty in Adelaide, Australia, as seen right here. Let's look at the actual door sensors that were used. Here's a sample of a door sensor that, were, that was used on one of the doors and an example of a possible installation on a smaller trawl door. Next, let's look at the actual software itself. Here is the basic display for the Trawlmaster 3.2 for outrig trawling. So there is one sensor on each of the doors and on this particular toe the Adelaide was monitoring the spread on each net so that is the spread between the outside starboard door and the inside starboard door and then between the outside port door and the inside port door as well the FE Liberty was also monitoring the distance from the vessel to the outside port door and from the vessel to the outside starboard door. This gives an indication of alignment of the trawls. So we're just going to press play right here and see exactly what the skipper seen while he was fishing. Now this playback is actually mu plays back much faster than the skipper actually seen it. But right here we see in the beginning that there's about 13-14 meters of spread on each trawl. However, this will eventually change if we keep looking at it. And over here we see a spread of the a graph of the door spread over time. And we can see eventually he starts to lose spread. So you can see here the port trawl has went down to 7.5 meters there has been some spread loss on the starboard trawl as well so we'll just watch this reduce a little bit further and here it goes now it's down to 10 meters on the starboard trawl and about 10 meters on the uh, on the port trawl now this can be for various reasons but Two of the main reasons that NOTICE typically sees for this is the vessel is towing too slowly into currents. That is, the vessel is actually going with the currents and it's just towing too slow. The doors are not getting enough force on them to actually spread the gear properly. In this instance, maybe the vessel needs to speed up and increase the door spread out to that 14, 14 meter area again. Another problem that may cause the reduction in door spread is weeding up. That is the trawls are starting to get a lot of garbage and weed in them so the door spread does reduce. The point is here that when there was something wrong the captain knew instantly and could make the proper adjustments. So just just another overview of the software. The main screen here showing exactly what the trawl does in 3D. And this is just a basic setup. Many more sensors can be added. If it was a quad rig trawler, we'd be we'd see four four spreads here. And we can also see four trawl wire lengths. We can add headline sensors, we can add temperature sensors, and even catch sensors to indicate when the cod end is full. Over to the left again, this is the door spread graph. And on bottom here, we see the same data as we see on the trawl. And you can actually bring GPS and depth data into here as well. Right here on bottom, we see a bird's eye view of the trawl. Uh, and, and we do have different views down here, such as the alignment view and the front view. But mainly for outrigger trawling, the top view, or bird's eye view, is the best. 
So that's a very basic overview of Trollmaster 3.2 on the FV Liberty in Adelaide, Australia.